Design and investigation the characteristics of the components of a DC regulated power supply using multi scene 14.2 simulator. Department of Science Laboratory Technology, Bumaru Ali Shinkafi Polytechnic Sokoto, Nigeria 2 Department of Computer Science, Faculty of Science, Sokoto State University, Sokoto, Nigeria 3 Department of Physics, Faculty of Science, Usmanu Danfado University, Sokoto, Nigeria 4 Department of Backslash Physics, Faculty of Science, Sokoto State University, Sokoto, Nigeria. Abstract in an ordinary, unregulated, power supply the voltage regulation is poor, i.e. the DC output voltage also changes due to variations in the input AC voltage. These variations in DC voltage may cause unreliable operation of electronic circuits, therefore, regulated DC power supply is the only solution in such situations. In this paper, the VI characteristics of a PN junction diode in both forward and reverse directions was investigated using multi scene 14.2, simulator and graphically discusses, the VI characteristics of a Zener diode in both forward and reverse bias conditions and used it as voltage regulator was determined and discusses graphically, the effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of half wave was determined and discusses graphically, the effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor full wave rectifiers was also determined and discusses graphically, finally a complete circuit of 8 VDC regulated power supply with constant output voltage irrespective of load variations was designed using Zener diode as voltage regulator and simulated. Keywords, DC power. Investigation, multi scene 14.2 simulator, regulation. 1.0 Introduction Design is to create, fashion, execute or construct according to plan, Stock and Bizvas, 2012. Simulation is the process of using computer based modeling of a system to understand its behavior and predict the effect of changes, Azar and Manasa, 2012. Dot simulation represents a powerful method for analyzing, designing, operating complex systems and allows the designer to determine the correctness and efficiency of a design before the system is actually constructed, Weiner and Blobaum, 2002. Design and simulation helps manufacturers to verify and validate the intended function of a product under development, as well as the manufacturability of the product, Person and Olliger, 2002. It provides an important method of analysis which is easily verified, communicated, and understood, Tranter ETAL, 2004. Across industries and disciplines, simulation modeling provides valuable solutions by giving clear insights into complex systems. The underlying purpose of simulation is to shed light on the underlying mechanisms that control the behavior of a system. More practically, simulation can be used to predict forecast, the future behavior of a system, and determine what can influence that future behave plus. Or, a power supply is an electrical device that supplies electric power to an electrical load. There are two types of power supplies, AC and DC power supply, DC power supply which maintains the output voltage constant irrespective of AC mains fluctuations or load variations is known as regulated DC power supply and DC power supply in which output voltage changes due to variation in the input AC voltage is known as an ordinary or unregulated DC power supply, an unregulated DC power supply is unreliable to the operation of electronic circuits therefore need to be regulated. Many authors have carried out different researches on investigation the characteristics of different electrical components using different simulator software some of they are, Bunkangu ETAL, 2013, carried out research on modeling and simulation of photovoltaic module considering single diode equivalent circuit model in MATLAB, Kakar and Bake, 2014, carried out a research on new mixed mode full wave rectifier realization with current differencing transconductance amplifier using Spice simulations with 0.18 MCMOs model obtained through TMSC are included to verify the workability of the proposed circuit and Jang ETL 2017 carried out research on investigated a tunneling field effect transistors TFETs 
model for simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis, SPICE, simulation that can identify ambipolar characteristics using a Berkeley short channel ICFIT Model 3, BSIM3, model. However some have difficulties for beginners, in that case Proteus or Multiseam can be used. Multiseam software combines SPICE simulation and circuit design into an environment optimized to simplify common design tasks, which helps to improve performance, minimize errors, and shorten time to prototype. The paper is mainly aimed at the design of 8V regulated DC power supply, this involves the study of the behaviors and characteristics of the component of regulated DC power supply using Zener as voltage regulator with Multiseam 14.2 simulator. Supplies electrical power to a circuit in the form of a voltage source or a current source. AC stands for alternating current which means the current constantly changes direction. The sources of power may come from the electric power grid, such as an electrical outlet, energy storage devices such as batteries or fuel cells, generators or alternators, solar power converters, or another power sources, Thule, 2019. Dot universal power source input range is within AC 85 264 volt and capable of operating at 50 and 60 Hz, CME NEC ETAL, 2019. This AC is needed to be either step down or step up for equipments uses the process of stepping it down or up is called transformation. This shows that in the output of a full wave rectifier, the DC component is more than the AC component. Consequently, the pulsations in the output will be less than in half-wave rectifier, Meta and Meta, 2008. For this reason, full-wave rectification is invariably used for conversion of AC into DC. However, the AC component is undesirable and must be kept away from the load, to do so, a filter circuit is used. The process of removing the AC component and allows only the DC component to reach the load is known as filtration and device which can do this work is called filter circuit. The most commonly used filter circuits are capacitor filter, choke input filter and capacitor input filter or filter, Meta and Meta, 2008. It can be proved that output DC voltage from the filter circuit is given by for full wave rectification. Here equals peak rectified full wave voltage applied to the filter equals output frequency from for full wave rectification into filter circuit meta and meta 2008 this dc voltage is unregulated and is needed to be regulated regulation voltage regulation is a measure of change in the voltage magnitude between the sending and receiving end of a component it is commonly used in power engineering to describe the percentage voltage difference between no load and full load voltages distribution lines, transmission lines, and transformers. Load regulation it indicates how much the load voltage varies when the load current changes. Quantitatively, it is defined as equals AA percent. 7. Where, equals load voltage with no load current equals load voltage with full load current, Meta and Meta, 2008. Dot the smaller the regulation, the better is the power supply. Line regulation it indicates the change in output voltage due to the change in input voltage. Quantitatively, it is defined as equals AA percent, 8. Where, equals load voltage with high input line voltage, and equals load voltage with low input line voltage, the smaller the regulation the better is the power supply. Meta and Meta, 2008. Regulated Output A DC power supply which maintains the output voltage constant irrespective of AC mains fluctuations or load variations is known as regulated DC power supply, Meta and Meta, 2008. A voltage regulator generates a fixed output voltage of a preset magnitude that remains constant regardless of changes to its input voltage or load conditions. Basically, there are two types of voltage regulators, linear voltage regulator and switching voltage regulator. There are two types of linear voltage regulators, series and shunt. There are three types of switching voltage regulators, step up, step down, and inverter voltage regulators, Meta and Meta, 2008, 
dot the complete circuit of a regulated power supply using Zener diode as a voltage regulating device is a combination of three circuits, I, bridge rectifier or center tap rectifier, 2, a capacitor filter and, 3, Zener voltage regulator as shown in figure 2. Figure 2, complete circuit of a regulated DC power supply. 3.0 Simulation in order to find the properties of the components of complete circuit of a regulated DC power supply the following investigation were carried out. Investigations of VI characteristics of a PN junction diode in both forward and reverse directions. Determination the VI characteristics of a Zener diode in both forward and reverse bias conditions. Zener diode as voltage regulator. Effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of half wave rectifier. Effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of full wave rectifier. Complete design of DC regulated power supply. Investigations of VI characteristics of a PN junction diode in both forward and reverse direction. Both the forward voltage, current and reverse bias voltage, current were measured based on the applied input voltage, the proposed simulation circuit diagram of a PN junction diode in both forward and reverse direction are shown in figure 3A and figure 3B. Figure 3A, shown the simulation circuit diagram of PN junction diode connected in forward direction. Figure 3B, shown the simulation circuit diagram of PN junction diode connected in reverse direction. Determination the VI characteristics of a Zener diode in both forward and reverse bias conditions. Both the forward voltage, current and reverse bias voltage, current were measured based on the applied input voltage, the proposed simulation circuit diagram of a Zener diode in both forward and reverse direction are shown in figure 4A and figure 4B. Figure 4A, shown the circuit diagram of Zener diode connected in forward bias condition. Figure 4B, shown the circuit diagram of Zener diode connected in reverse bias condition. Zener diode as voltage regulator. The regulation and percentage regulation of a Zener diode at constant load resistance equals 15 very input voltage and at input voltage equals 15 very load resistances were determined, the proposed simulation circuit diagram shown in figure 5. Figure 5, shown the circuit diagram of Zener diode as voltage regulator at constant load resistance RL equals 15 K very input voltage. Effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of half wave rectifier. The effect of load resistance on ripple factor with and without filter of half wave rectifier, at constant AC voltage of 240 at frequency of 50 Hz from the AC power source and 1 2V input voltage peak, from the step down transformer was determined. The proposed simulation circuit diagram is shown in Figure 6. Figure 6 shown simulation circuit diagram of half wave rectifier without capacitor connected effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of full wave rectifier t he effect of load resistance on ripple factor with and without filter of full wave rectifier at constant ac voltage of 240 vrms frequency of 50 hertz from the ac power source and 1 2v input voltage peak from the step down transformer was determined the proposed simulation circuit diagram is shown in figure 7. Figure 7, shown simulated circuit diagram of full wave rectifier without capacitor connected. Complete design of DC regulated power supply. The proposed simulation circuit diagram of 8V regulated DC power supplying with 240V and 50Hz applied to step down center tap transformer with turns ration of secondary coil to primary coil. 20 colon 1 in which 1 2 V is the peak voltage value available at the secondary coil for full wave center tap rectifier was determined as shown in figure 8 figure 8 shown the complete circuit diagram of DC power supplier with filter capacitor connected results and discussions results and discussions results and discussion of the results of simulated PN junction diode in both forward and reverse directions in order to determine it is VI characteristics. Vary the supply voltage from DC power source in steps the corresponding values of forward voltages and forward currents was noted down and the VI characteristics of PN junction diode in forward direction was determined graphically as shown in figure 9a. Forward current if, ma. 
Forward current if, ma. 14. 12. 10. 0 0.36375, 0 0.03621. 80.410547, 0 0.089453, 6, 6, 0 0.440468, 0 0.159532, 0 0.461311, 0 0.238689, 4, 4, 0 0.476965, 0 0.323035, 0 0.489378, 0 0.410622, 0 0.669948, 0 13.33, 0 0.661492, 0 11.339, 0 0 0.65144, 0 0.63895, 7.341, 0 0.622647, 5.377 0 0.598867 3.401 2 2 0 0.499609 0 0.500391 0 0.554521 0 0.5444 0 0.5444 0 0.0.20.30.40.50.60.70.8 Forward voltage, V. Figure 9A, shown the graph of forward current against forward voltage. Looking at the first data point from the right to the left of horizontal axis of the graph of figure 9A, it indicate that increases in forward voltage lead to the increases in forward current due to the reducing in potential barrier of the diode across the junction and from 0.622647V the diode is regulating, said to be in on state, this indicated a silicon diode, however at 0.669V the potential barrier overall eliminated as a result of that larger current starts flowing through the diode this shows the characteristics of PN junction diode connected in forward bias for its operation also a graphical VI characteristics of the diode in the forward biased condition are curved between voltage across the diode, current through the diode and in the circuit. A PN junction diode can also be connected in reverse bias in order to investigate its characteristics. Vary the supply voltage from DC power source in steps the corresponding values of reverse bias voltages and reverse currents was noted down and the VI characteristics of PN junction diode in reverse direction was determined graphically as shown in figure 9b. 0. Reverse current IR, UA. Reverse current IR, UA. Minus 16 minus 14 minus 12 minus 10 minus 8 minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 0. Minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.89996, minus 0 0.032996, minus 0 0.99967, a, minus 4, minus 0 0.035971, 0 0.032996, minus 0 0.02, minus 0 0.03, minus 12. Minus 0 0.044054 minus 14 minus 0 0.044008 minus 10 minus 0 0.0421 minus 6 minus 0 0.038014 minus 8 minus 0 0.039968 minus 2 minus 0 0.033995 Minus 0 0.04. Reverse voltage, V. Minus 0 0.05. Figure 9B, shown the graph of reverse bias current against reverse bias voltage. Looking at the first data point from the left to right of horizontal axis of the graph it indicate that increases in reverse voltage causes very small current to flows in the circuit with high voltage due to increases in potential barrier across the junction, also the reverse bias current is as a result of minority charge carriers, this shows that PN junction diode is not designed to operate in reverse bias condition. Results and discussion of the results of simulated a Zener diode in both forward and reverse directions in order to determine it is VI characteristics.
vary the supply voltage in steps the corresponding values of forward voltages and forward currents were noted down through ammeter and the VI characteristics of Zener diode in forward direction was determined graphically as shown in figure 10A. Forward current if, ma. Forward current if, ma. 14. 12 0.1, 1.08247E07. 10 0.2, 2.63678E07 80.299 6 0.6.7.2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
breakdown voltage, a Zener diode specially made to operate in the breakdown region, a PN junction diode normally does not conduct when reverse biased, for this reason Zener diode can be connected reverse bias as voltage regulator. 4.3 Results and Discussion of the Results of Simulated Zener Diode as Voltage Regulator At constant load resistance equals 15 vary the supply input voltage in steps the corresponding values of full load voltages and load currents were noted down and the graph of load current I against full load voltage was plotted as shown in figure 11A. 0.354.678 0 0.311376 0.311376 Load current IL, MA Load current IL, MA 0 0.3 0 0.25 0 0.2 0 0.15 0 0.1 0 0.05 0 0 0 0.936491 0 4.661 0 0.310767 0 4.648 0 0.309867 4 4.62 0 0.3080 1.875 0 0.12500 0 3.75 0 0.250003 0 0.511.5 FU2LL load 2V.5 voltage V3 3.544.55 Figure 11A shown the graph of load current against full load voltage Looking at the first data point from the graph changes in input voltage causes changes in both load current and full load voltage However at last data points when the diode is on both load current and full load voltage are regulated, this shown the regulating points of the Zener diode uses as voltage regulator. Also at constant input voltage equals 15 vary the load resistance in steps the corresponding values of full load voltages and load currents were noted down and the graph of load resistance against percent regulation was plotted as shown in figure 11b. Load resistance RL, K. Load resistance RL, K. 25. 20.021, 20, 20. 15. 10.022, 10. 50.042, 0 5. 0 0.14, 2. 11.27, 0 0.5. 0 87.24, 0 0.2. 244.19, 0 0.1, 0 0.34, 0, 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. Percentage regulation. Figure 11b, shown the graph of load resistance against full percentage regulation. Looking at the first horizontal data point from the right of vertical axis of the graph indicated that increases in load resistance causes decreases in percentage regulation but the smaller in percentage regulation, the better power supply, therefore the last point on the horizontal axis has better power supply. 4.4 Results and discussion of the results of simulated effect of load resistance and filter capacitor on ripple factor of half-wave rectifier. Adjusting the load resistance and noting down the DC and AC voltage reading after passing through a single diode, the ripple factor was calculated and effect of load resistance on ripple factor without filter capacitor was determined graphically as shown in figure 12A. 1.233 1.232 1.233 2. 1.231 Ripple factor Ripple factor 1.23 1.229 1.226 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -200 -
load resistance RL, K. Figure 12, shown the graph of ripple factor against load resistance without filter capacitor. Looking at first data point from the top of vertical axis of the graph it shows that increases in values of load resistance causes decreasing in ripple factor, therefore load resistance have an effect on ripple factor of half wave rectifier without filter capacitor. After connecting the filter capacitor of 10F in varying the load resistances the reading of DC and AC voltages were noted down and effect of load resistance on ripple factor was determined graphically as shown in figure 12B. 0.8 Ripple factor Ripple factor 0.0000-1000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.0000-0.
Looking at the first data point from the top of the vertical axis of the graph it shows that increases in load resistance causes decreases in ripple factor but smoothing the graph therefore load resistance have an effect on ripple factor of full wave rectifier with constant filter capacitor. Results and discussion of the results of simulated complete design of D.C regulated power supply. With a 240V applied AC voltages at 50 Hz to step down center tap transformer, turns ration of secondary coil to primary coil 20 colon 1 in which 1 2V, was the peak voltage value available at the secondary coil, the rectified output voltages 10.386V was obtained without filter capacitor connected as shown in figure 15A. Figure 15A, shown the complete circuit diagram of DC power supplier without filter capacitor connected. With connected filter capacitor of 22F and a Zener diode of 8.2 breakdown region, the rectified output voltages increases to 15.132V, the output voltages remain constant 8.2V irrespective of load variations as shown in Figure 15B. Figure 15B, shown the complete circuit diagram of DC power supplier with filter capacitor connected. 5. Conclusion from the simulation result of the proposed component circuits of DC power supply, the VI characteristics of a PN junction diode and Zener diode in both forward and reverse directions was determined and investigated graphically, the result shows that a Zener diode specially made to operate in reverse biased while a PN junction diode normally does not conduct when reverse biased, the regulation and percentage regulation of a Zener diode at constant load resistance RL equals 15K vary input voltage and at input voltage VEN equals 15V very load resistances was determined graphically, results shows the regulating points of the Zener diode uses as voltage regulator where both load current and full load voltage are regulated and the smaller in percentage regulation, the better power supply, therefore the highest on the vertical axis has better power supply, effect of load resistance, and filter capacitor, C, on ripple factor, R of both half-wave and full-wave rectifiers was determined graphically. The results shows that load resistance without or with constant filter capacitor have an effect on ripple factor of half-wave or full-wave rectifiers and filter capacitor without or with constant load resistance also have an effect on ripple factor of half-wave or full-wave rectifiers, finally complete circuit of 8V DC regulated power supply irrespective of load variations was designed and simulated. The result shown the regulating of 8.2V using multi-seam 14.2 simulator with Zener diode as voltage. Regulator